let you all know we're here to talk to you. Uh, Sherry is right there. Tom, Jill, Tina, and myself, Spanky. So if you want to talk to us and communicate with us, we would appreciate it. We're not here to harm you or make fun of you. We just want to uh, learn a little bit of knowledge about you. And cross the rods for yes answer and wait for no answer. Did anybody stay in this cell? Is this your place? So Talking you... outside. Hold on. What's your? I heard a female voice. It's like... I heard the same no, thing. I we, all heard we heard it. Okay. Did you live in the jailer's house? Thousand rods are going to know. Okay, thank you. Can you straighten the rods back out? Try and quite make a noise. Eight twenty nine. Spanky's okay. on ghost box. Jill, you're doing the rods? I'm gonna do rods at the same time. Did you say yeah just a minute ago? We're having a debate here. Tina and I both heard a female voice say yeah after Tom made a comment. But you thinking that was funny. Do you think that was funny? I crossed the rods for yes. My rods went right for yes, and I am chilled to the bone right now. Ooh. Okay, reset, please. And your rods are resetting. Yeah, thank you. Were you the woman that we heard just a minute ago laugh or say something that we couldn't make out? Or were you a child? Pause back, I guess. Yeah. Were you the child that we heard earlier? So it sounded like a child. Are you a child? So your rods are yes. yes. So if you're a child, did you live here? Did you live in this building? Inside me? Inside me. So maybe it's a woman with a child inside her. Ask that question. My, my rods went to yes, Tina. Are you a child? Are you a child? Yeah, my rods went to yes. We don't understand the inside me comment. Were you inside the jail? Were you an inmate here? Were you, con were you convicted and said to stay here? Super chill with him. And you're right, you're doing yes. Okay. So did you come to this jail and concede? Find in a truck. Find in a truck. What can we find in the truck? Tell Spanky what we can find in the truck. Whose truck? Window. Can you tell Spanky your name? Men. Men. There was a lot of men in this jail. What year did you get incarcerated? Locked up in jail. Tell Spanky on his headphones what year that it was that you were convicted of your crime. Hey, look at my rods. I'm watching your rods. They're not asking a question. They're just doing what they want to do. Yeah. Can you reset the rods, please? If you're in a room with us right now, with Jill and I, can you take those rods and point to where you're at? Can you
And you take both rocks and point them where you're at right now. Need both rocks. The rod on the left hand is bouncing, but it's moving slightly to the left. The rod on her right hand is already at the right, left. Okay, straighten the rods out for me then, please. You can tell us your name by talking into that little red dot. We would like to hear your story. Our rods are going to know. Okay, can you reset for me, please? Can you straighten those back out? So you don't want to tell us your story? The rod's is saying yes. Okay. So it doesn't want to say a story. Okay, you don't have to tell us if you don't want to. Thank you. Does it bother you that we're in the cell? Our rods are going to no. What was the question? Do you? Does it bother you that we're in your cell? <coughs> Are you ashamed of what you've done? If you are ashamed, cross the rods for yes, spread them apart for no. Wow. And the rods are saying yes. Yes, they're ashamed. Yes. He is ashamed. Or is it a she? Could it be a she? No, right? It's all males in here. Is this predominantly a jail that was housing men? All men? Cross for yes, spread apart for no. So no. Spread apart for no. Reset. That would tie in with the pregnancy. Okay, so did this jail house females also? Cross for yes, spread apart for no. Yes. A thousand rods answer yes. So was the bottom floor set for females? I got no. Can you reset, please? A thousand rods were saying no. Okay. So this upper floor that we're in now, that was for females. Okay, thank you. We said yes. So we will continue on with our, our inquiry here as we now begin to unravel this crime. You testified moments before that the victim of your crime was a female. Is that correct? Please turn the light on if it's correct or answer through our court report. Thank you. There comes a time in everybody's life where they must relieve themselves of the pressure that they're under. And I feel that's where you're at now. You're burdened with this heavy, heavy, sad feeling about what you did and you're trying to make amends. And I can understand that. And I'd like to give you that opportunity now to, to make those amends, to, to get that okay. relief. Okay. Thank you. The easiest way to lift those burdens is to confess. Confess to what you did so that the world knows and you, you'll be forever lifted from that burden of wondering, waiting for that time when the other side 
will come looking for you. It could be. Uh huh. That's my thought. If you, the victim is in this courtroom right now, could you please cross the lines? Are you referring to and the rods have now crossed? Thank you. May you uncross the rods, please? Can you uncross the rods for us? Thank you so very much. A little bit more. You may turn off the light now. Light Thank you. And speaking to the victim, can you please point both of those rods to where you're standing so that we can See where you're at in conjunction to this, this inquiry. Please turn the point those rods to where you're standing if you're able to. But how? You're doing it right now, thank you. And I present to the court that in request to my asking where the, where the victim is standing, the rods moved to the left. If you are angry at this person for the harm they did to you, I ask that you cross the rod. But if you forgive them, I ask that you spread the rods apart. Advocate. We are an advocate for the victim, and the victim clearly says they're still angry over what has happened to them. Please uncross the rods. And I have another, impo another important question asking you, please uncross the rods for me, if you're able. I'll ask the gentleman on the witness stand right now that did this whole event take place over money? If that was the case, please turn on that light and only turn on the light. Thank you very much. So this is clearly a crime of money. You may turn the light off now, thank you. And I appreciate your honesty. You may turn the light off, thank you. So again I ask, is this a case involving money and sex? Those two things combined. Victim, does this, issue, does this issue involve money and sex? And the answer is no. The question is. That, there, that is the question, isn't it? And we're not quite sure what it is. And that's the whole point of this inquiry. Please bring the rods back together. All right. But it has to do with money, am I correct? It has to do with money? Turn on the light, defend it on the stand. Or the one that victim says, yes, it has to do with money. If you could please cross the rods for me. Thank you. This brings another level of interest here. Were it's you point? Ah. It is not. This is exactly what I was wondering. Our victim. Were you related to the defendant? If you were, please cross the rods. Victim, was the defendant your caretaker but not related to you? Light comes on. And cross, rods cross. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Please uncross the rods. Please cross the rods, thank you. Victim, did this defendant on the stand do something to take advantage of you? Plain and simple. Whether it be money, whether it be goods, whether it be something, did they do something to take advantage of you? Thank you. And cross the rods. Please cross the rods. And you're going to say yes. There's many, many trials that have been held in this courtroom. One of them had to do with the- What is happening? What is happening? We're trying to find out who's with us right now. 
And I'd like to know if Tim Chester's here with us. Is there an air vent right here? Yes. yes. Okay. Tim Chester, are you here? If you're here, you can either reach out to us and let us know by crossing those rods or speaking to the court reporter. It's a joke. No, this is no joke. If it's Sally Bowles, please cross those rods. If it's another victim, please spread them apart. I say they crossed. And the rods are crossed. Can you uncross them for me, please? Hi. Hi, how are you? Can you uncross the rods for me, please, Sally? Make them parallel right next to each other. Thank you. Was that you that just said hello? Hi. If that was you that said hi, just cross the rods for me. And the rods have crossed. Yep. Okay, thank you. Can you spread them? Can you make it them parallel? It was painful. Ah, please uncross the, the rods there, Sally, and, and we'll talk about that. Please uncross the rods for me. Thank you. When you say... Harris. Harris. Is Harris, does Harris have anything to do with this crime? Cross the rods of yes, spread them apart of no. Is Harris responsible for this crime? In other words, did he go to the death row, the person that did this to you? If he went to death row to Stark, cross the rods. If he did not, please spread the rods apart. And the rods, first. Please bring the rods back out for Dad? Dad, is that what you said? Dad? Can you say that again? Yeah, yeah, can you say that again? We're not sure what you said. Does Tim Chester have anything to do with this? If Tim Chester's involved in this crime... Grady. Grady. Really? Okay, do I have that wrong then? But Mom? this... Is, this is Sally, am I correct? Sally, are you, are you the one hi. that's... Hi. Hi, okay. You said hi the last time we checked it was Sally and you crossed the rods. Okay, Sally, so we understand that it's you. Please uncross the rods. Please cross the rods so that we can ask you another question. Great. Not quite sure what you mean, Sally. Is there anybody else here with us besides Sally? Tell us your name. Tell us your name and spread the rods apart. If there are more people here Michael? besides Michael, Michael, thank you. Michael, if you're in this, if you're in this room with us, could you point the rods to where you're standing, please, that we can address you in the, appropriately in this courtroom? Point, please point the rods to where you're standing. It's loud. I know. Both rods, please. What's happening? We're not sure, Michael. Thank you. Thank you very much. Michael, so you're standing over here. So I'll address you directly. Can you straighten out the rods for me, please, Michael? Please straighten out both rods. Thank you so much. Michael, do you have any involvement in this case? They took him. Who did they take? Hello? Hello, we're, we're trying to hear you and understand. Can you tell I us? I hate him. Who do you hate? Can you tell us the name of the person you hate? Who, who just, whoever said that, I hate them, was Sally, was that President. you? President. Present. Present. 
So somebody's present. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Sally. I think that was you that said it. Could you uncross the rods, please, Sally? I think we have several folks here. A little bit more. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Sally, were you trying to tell us you hate Michael? No. Okay, thank you. Bring the rods back together. Sally, are you mad at somebody named with the last name of Chester? Is that who you're mad at? If it is, cross the roads. And the roads are crossed. Thank you. Can you cross them for me, Sally? Please bring it, please, and cross them for me. A little bit more, please. I'm done. <laughs> okay. Sally, is that you telling us that you're done? If it is, spread the rods wide apart. If that's you telling us that you're done, please spread those wide, rods wide apart. Wait. Wait for what? Were you hurt? Sally, were you hurt? Okay, so seriously, is something like touching my arm? <laughs> because it feels like, I felt that it was like a bug, and it kept... The rod's just pointed at my The rod's pointed, but hit your shoulder. No, it was like, it's been this. I've been watching you like move this it. Thing or something, but it was... Maybe, could, it be, was could it be the wire from the headphones? Well, that's what I thought, but the wire wasn't there. Okay. I kept like opening my eyes and... <laughs> okay. 9.55 p.m., March 25th, second floor. Tom, Tina, Spanky, and Jill. Jill's on the X, uh, ghost box, Spanky, He's on the dazzling rods. If you didn't like what was happening in this courtroom, can you make these lights that are around the room flicker? I just heard a female voice. I couldn't make out what she was saying. Sally, can you say hello again? Like you would come. Confess. 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 He did. The person that confessed to your murder and got executed? I'm here. Well, thank you for being here. What is your name? Beat him up. Do we need to get the bailiff? I heard. That was brought up before, too. Oh, it was? Yeah. Not, not to beat him up, but I'm hurt. I'm hurt? Yeah. It said hurt or pain. Is your name Sally? If it is, cross the rods. If not, make them go apart. Is your name Sally? Yes, the dozen rods are saying yes. I'm liking this energy too. It's strong. Strong energy? Yeah. All the way. Thank you. Are you still hurting today? Say yes. Thousand rods are crossing to yes, I believe, yes. 
Spanky, let us know. Yep. Because I can't see. Yep, there he is. It's like they're in stages. Yeah. It's like pulsating to yes, no questions. Get out. Oh, here we go. Please straighten the rods. Please straighten the rods for me. Are there more than one person in this room right now? Yeah. Did you get that answer? Mm -hmm. Are you going back to the time of the court case? Is everyone here that was involved? told me a color outside. Do you know what it is? What color? Can you tell me the color Tom told me about? Why is she shaking her head no? You see that? No, mm -hmm. twice. Yeah. Jellybean, can you hear us? Jill is so pretty. Can you tell us the color again? It's me. Okay, who are you? Can you tell us who you are? Are you Michael? It's okay to tell us your name. Is someone behind me? Nobody's behind you. Did somebody bang something? No. Nobody banged it in. It felt like something kicked me right behind. Like somebody stepped behind me. We have you okay? Huh? You, you okay? Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah, it just felt like there was somebody right behind me. No, we like, haven't moved. We, we were asking you questions and you were shaking your head no to the answers. What the hell is that about? I couldn't make out what they're saying. It's like there's a conversation between two people <laughs> going on here. A man and a woman. There you go. There you go. That's what we've been talking to. Oh, really? Yes, but we're not telling you nothing else. It was like they were talk having a conversation between, and I heard something. Conversation certain... or fighting? No, just a conversation. Hmm. Could be. Could be. Okay. Can you take these rods right now and point to where you're at right now in the room? Take both rods and point to where you're at. Either one of you. I know there's two of you here. I hurt her. I hurt her. I hurt her. So a thousand okay, rods. Okay, thank you. Please straighten the rods back out. A thousand rods are pointing towards the behind behind Jill. Mm. That's what Spanky said. The person standing behind Jill, is this the man? If it is, cross the rods for yes. Speaker. Speaker. Not the man behind her. Speaker. I just asked the question. Oh, I it see it. And it says no, you doesn't want to say no. Here's the question. Are you, Are you the man standing behind Jill? And it said Please. Yes. And it said no. You got it. Okay. Is the woman standing behind Jill right now? Is there a lady behind her? Do you want Jill to get out of that chair so you can sit in that chair? And we can ask you Please questions. again. Sure. It's a it's a conversation for a man and a woman. Yeah, just tell, tell her to sit next to you. I need you to come sit over here for a minute. It's like a conversation between a man and a woman. The woman's saying please, and the guy's like, sure. You got it. I'm gonna walk. Okay. Like a prosecutor. There you go. Please again, same woman voice. There it is, guy's voice. Were you in this chair? 
If you were in this chair, turn that light on and tell Jill. Please again, same woman's voice. Is he hurting you again? Is that why you're saying please? Please again. Tell us what year you were Please sent. Please again. Is he trying to hurt you in the afterlife? Here. Here? Is he trying to hurt you here? Get there first. What'd she say? Get there first. Get there first. I just felt something on my arm. That happened to uh, Sherry earlier. Felt it on your red lights blinking on an EDI too, right behind me. Really? On the post here. And Sherry was sitting against the wall over there, and all of a sudden she's like, "Are you? Something's touching my arm. Is that you?" We're like, "No, we're, we're as far as from you to us." So I thought it was the wire from my head. She said, "No, the wire's over here." Mm. And I just felt that here, so I don't know. I'm going to sit this in the chair. If you want to come and sit down, I'll know you're there. All right, we're going to do this one more time. Can, anyway. you, can you take the rods and take both of them and point to where you're at in the room right now? And he's sitting in a the chair there. Take the rods and point to where you're at in the room. Both of the rods are spinning around. Man. Turn around this way so I can see you. I'm going to do it more, two more times. Okay. All right. Can't hear you. All right. I, I would like for you to take the rods and point to where you're at in the room right now. Take both rods. This is the last time I'm gonna ask you tonight. Shut up. <laughs> last time I'm asking you, can you take the rods and point to where you're sitting right now? Well, four times. Okay, thank you. Point to the chair. Spanky. Here, read this. Spanky, watch it. Read this. Shut read up. up. They don't want, I guess they don't want me to tell you that. I showed that to Larry. Larry said there's a lot of stuff going on in there. But he picked up two words. You got Chester. Is that who's sitting in the chair? You got her. Is it male or female? Yeah, we'll shut up. It sounds like it's female to me. <laughs> Who is saying help? Who is saying what? Help. 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 Or I'm hurt. Or I'm, I'm hurt. hurt. It was a female that said I'm hurt. And help. Did I say help? Not help. Uh, no, it wasn't help. Uh, pain or hurt. I, I, I hurt was a female. I so, there was a male's voice before that. And he kept saying please. Who was saying mm -hmm. please? It was a female. Every single time. Same voice too that came through. And that happened like five or six times. I know, it, it happened a bunch of times. It was like, so it wasn't the radio. No. That was definitely not radio no, that not many radio. times. <laughs>
I wish we'd have gotten a little bit more tonight. I think it, it was somewhat active. I think, uh, I think we actually got more here than we did at the jail. Sherry was uh, on the spirit box. Almost a, a question where somebody appeared to have been wrong. Either they, I think, were murdered or harmed in some way. And then we got a very strong indication there was money involved. So, and then we heard the word exploit. Give Tom kudos because the light kept coming on. And I got to tell you, it came on when I was asking questions. Would you agree? Yes. I mean, it was spot on. But then Tom started timing it, and he saw a pattern. Now, the pattern wasn't consistent all the time, but it was consistent enough that you quite frankly had to discount the flashlight. You really do. And it's a shame because sometimes it would, I mean, it was just spot on. Now, Sherry, you were saying some things during that time that actually fit, and the rods that Evan was working did the same thing. Between you and Tom was, you said there was something that was said. That the person that was tried for murder was sent to Stark. Oh, yeah. And he yeah, died yeah. at Stark Electrocution. So at one point, yeah. when you just walking around and you had your headphones on, I said, hey, pretty lady, can you hear us? And you couldn't hear us no more. So I said to Larry, I said, well, he was sentenced to Stark. And as soon as I said the word Stark, you said, as soon as it came out, Stark, we both said Stark. And me and Larry looked at each other like, oh my God. Yeah, you know? I, I thought that was, so Stark is not, not a word you'd hear no. regularly. Oh, you remember the... The incident when you felt something rub on your arm? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Was, when you were sitting there and we have video of you, I was watching how they got you on video and you moved your arm. You were like, you had the headset on your, on your eyes closed and you were facing that window right, right, and Evan yeah, right. was facing this way. And all of a sudden we just watched you on video and watching you live, you were like, and we like watched you again and like not even two seconds later, you were like, and then you took the headphones out. Are you touching me? We we're like, nah, we're back here. You were right. over there. We're like, nope. So that was the end of that. And then a little bit later, you guys left. So Jill was sitting in the hot seat. Spanky was sitting over there. Tina was sitting over there. I'm sitting right here videotaping the hot seat. And they're going on with questions and stuff. And all of a sudden, I'm sitting there, I felt. And I was like, and I was like, what the heck? And they did it again. And I'm like looking. Really gentle. Very gentle. And I said to them, I, then I said, dude, something just touched my arm. And it happened to Sherry, because no one knew about it. And I was like, I ain't got to tell nobody. To, you know, I was like, mm -hmm. what the heck was that? I don't know. Well, when I was sitting in the hot seat, I was doing the Estes method. And I had all of my earphones here, and I had my eyes closed. And all of a sudden, I stopped. And I said, who's walking behind me? Because I literally felt someone come behind me. And I don't know, I felt someone hanging over me. Like, you know, when you sit behind you, like, like this. Mm. And I felt like a kick or something like that. Someone put their hands here. And I took that and I said, who's walking behind me? And everybody was sitting down. <laughs>